The first of three iron rocks I would like to get this episode is in Taka Pass. At the end of the tunnel that leads to the Guardian Sapling, you will find an iron rock. Go ahead and use Power Slash 2 on it to get your free 40 praise. Another thing I would like to point out, which is a little bit out of place in, um, in this montage of, of iron rocks. Let me bloom this. Thank you is when I, when as soon as I got here I I just happened to angle the camera up a little bit and I saw that there was a Konohana blossom way over there I have no idea what it is there's another one there I, I have no idea what it leads to so let's find out together real quick once again I didn't really intend for this to be put in the montage but I just discovered it and I found I think it would be out of place anywhere else okay so the next Konohana blossom is right here we could probably skip it to the next one, but I'd like to do this the way it should be done. Okay, there's one over there. We can see where we're going to end up. There's a ledge over there, but I have no idea what it is. I've never found this before, and I just stumbled across it by chance, just by looking up randomly. So let's see what this gives us. It seems to be three clovers. Okay, I will take that. Uh, that actually does fit in with this montage, I guess, since we're getting praise. Okay, so let's get all these clovers. I'll bloom them in individually so we can see how much praise each one gives. Okay, that one gives... How much? I didn't get to see. I'm guessing it was five praise. I'm pretty sure it was five praise. And this one... Let's wait until we get our items so it, they don't block out how much praise we get. Five praise again. Okay. And then finally, we get another one for, I am assuming, another five praise. So there's... 15 free preys over here. Very interesting. It's a very, very hard to find secret. So yeah, okay, on to the next, uh, the next iron rocks. Oh, wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. This, this train isn't done here. These go even further. You see this? They go even further. I have no idea where this is leading me, but it's leading me somewhere, and I am very willing to see where this goes. Oh, okay, so it brings us to the top of this rock, where there's a chest that we couldn't normally get before. And in that chest is a tiger statue. Okay, uh, that's, that's a very fitting end to a very long uh, train of Konohana Blossoms. Okay, now on to the next iron rock. In Ryushima Coast, next to the moon turret, or moon deck, or sacred deck of the moon turret, uh, you just want to turn a one, take a 180, jump off this cliff, and on the beach below is an iron rock, one that we missed in our adventures in the Ryushima area. Uh, there's, one, there's one more iron rock left, and I'll go ahead and cut to that. Without leaving the area, if you head over to the Guardian Sapling of Ryushima Coast, go up one level, go across this water, and then take a left, you'll see the last iron rock that I have missed. Right here, second level, 40 praise. Now let's get on to the actual episode. Back in Ryushima Coast once again. Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to Okami. Last episode, we took on the Saitomi Canine Warriors, also known as the Kusa Five, in a very, very hard-hitting battle that was full of cheap invincibility and invulnerability frames. This episode, we're going to be going to Ryushima Coast, which we're in right now, and beyond. What do I mean by beyond? Well, this cat statue here, we've seen from the very beginning. Now we f finally know what it means, and so we can finally make use of it. There we are. There is our ladder into the heavens. And here we are. An area an area of Shinju Field that we've never been to before. Now, I would like to turn it to night here. I would typically not really do this since, I don't know, I just don't record. Uh, I, well, I don't record. I, I don't play in the nighttime that much because there's no music at all which is really unsettling, but I wanted to do this just so I could see if there are any buried chests in the vicinity and to see that clover, although that would have been seen in the daytime. So yeah, we've gotten we've gotten a lot of praise even before this episode quote-unquote began. Uh, we got, oh wow, that almost puts us up to enough to upgrade ink the last time. Um, 
Yeah, we got a lot of praise from those from those iron rocks, and I do believe that we've gotten all of the ones that I've missed. If I've missed another one, then tell me in the comments, because I don't think I have, and so I'm not going to be scouring the pwn for the last ones. Okay, there's a demon gate right here, which I should take care of before we do anything else in this new area. And, I don't know, I could show this, I guess. Maybe. Depending on the enemies. Uh, they're blue imps. Wow, actually, you know what? I'm going to show the, uh, I'm going to show the bio for these guys. Because I was never, never able to show it before. There's Floral Fincher. Uh, yeah, he, they're very easy, but... You know, it's some it's something that I'm I was not able to show the enemy bio before, so now I'm able to. Uh, let's kill you in like two hits or three. Wow, three hits. You're you're that resilient, man. Two and done. Are you all is that it? Is that seriously it? Okay. That's that's a little bit easy. I mean you think since you need catwalk to get up here, they give you some hard hitting enemies, but uh, no, <laughs> they give us these and 30 praise. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna feed these guys before I, I upgrade anything. But wow, eight praise. Okay, not too shabby. Uh, so that that reminded me feeding those animals because that those are like the first animals we fed in however many episodes. Um, but that reminded me that. When I restocked all of those battle items, I also bought um, enough feedback so we have 15 of every kind. I'm not expecting for us to be going a long period without any shops, but since we're so rich now, and this is after we, we spent 500,000 yen, I feel, I feel like we can afford to buy more of more items instead of needing to restock every, like, two episodes. Okay, so I said that I was going to upgrade my my stuff, and unlike what I normally do, I'm not going to forget this time. I'd like to upgrade my ink one last time. And there it is. There it is, full ink. That's how, let's see, that's how many. Four, eight, ten. That is ten ink pots. That's the max ink you can have in this game without... I won't go into that right now. But yeah, that is the max ink. So I'd like to actually use uh, this and see that it uses six ink pots, but we have four ink pots left to go. So yeah, we're, we're pretty good on ink. <laughs> we're pretty much the best we can be right now. So yeah, we have, the gold, we have the golden ink pot and we have 10 ink pots. So we have 10 golden ink pots. That is, that is quite, uh, quite satisfying. Okay, I just want to run around this area just because there's probably something hidden. Ah, see? Exploration. Because the next thing I'm going to be upgrading is probably... It actually might even be my wallet. What camera? What are you doing? There you go. What was that? Yeah, uh, the next thing I upgraded might actually be my wallet. Um, there's a point coming up. It's not really, really soon, but it's it's coming up. Oh, and there are no stray, stray beads up here, in case you're wondering. Uh, where we're going to be getting a lot of yen. More, okay, more than we've ever had at one point in time. Not as not more than we've ever accumulated, but it's going to be more yen that we've ever gotten at, in one point, and we're going to be getting it all in one swoop. So yeah, it's it's something that you should. You should be wary of, well not wary, but you should be prepared for so you're not wasting good yen. Okay, we have a white porcelain pot. That's that's a new that's a new treasure. Pot made of pseudo translucent white porcelain. That's a new treasure. Okay, I thought we were beyond that point of getting new treasures, but we're not. Okay, uh before I before I uh delay the episode any further, let's actually do what we came here to do. This has been here for ages, but Nobody knows what it's for. There are many things like that in Nippon. No one knows when they were built or even who built them. But I suppose people have more important things to think about. True indeed. Uh, the lightning is originating right here. Like, the lightning is right there. In fact, let's turn it nighttime, because in when I was doing the end slate for last episode with all the lightning, I actually did it for, I don't know, a good <sighs> 10 minutes, I think? So I, I went through the entire day and night cycle and just to see how the lightning looked. 
and it looked a lot better at nighttime. It's not really quite nighttime yet. It's it's dusk, but once once it gets to be pitch black, it the lightning looks really cool. Okay. This oh wow, it's a crystal. I was really expecting it to be the the thunderstorm tech, but it's not. We have yet to get that scroll. I was thinking maybe it was it was hanging around here. Okay, uh, did we go over? Yeah, we went over there. There's a lot of grassy knolls here with nothing on them, which is very puzzling. You'd think there'd be something. I don't know. Okay. So, what are we supposed to be doing here, you ask? Well, we have a source of lightning. That usually means we should be using it, right? It's not way in the distance where we can't even reach it. It's right here. And if you look, that's Nine Strike. That is Nine Tails Sword. Uh, is it Nine Strike? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, wait, that's seven. Seven Strike, I guess. Okay. Interesting. So it's Seven Strike. So what did we have to do with Nine Tails weapon? We had to strike with lightning. What should we do with this? The same exact thing, except I want to see if I can hit it with Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt! Yes, I can. Good. It looks much cooler that way. And that opens a new path for us. We have a tunnel. Where does that tunnel lead us? You know what? It will lead you to the most unlikely place in all Nippon. You know what Isun says? Leap before we think! <laughs> Ami, do you know where this hole leads to? Yeah. You know, there was a foul smoke rising from Ninetales which flew off to the northern lands. That's what's waiting for us on the other side of this tunnel. Anyway, what's up with that creepy lightning? Yeah. I'm getting a bad feeling about this. It leads us, indeed, into a tunnel, which I wasn't expecting. I thought it was just going to drop us out somewhere, but no. We actually have to traverse this, which I, which I like. It's very long, so it gives you some scale as to how far we're going. Okay. Uh, there's some sort of gust, flurry, uh, steam, I don't know, flowing out of here. We can't see, but let's go. Is this steam? I, I'm guessing it's steam, so we're pretty deep underground, unless it was snow. Welcome to my favorite area. I've said I've said many times before this is one of my favorite areas, but no, this is my favorite area of the game. This. There are three, uh, spoiler alert, there are three sagas in Okami. There's the Orochi Saga, the Ninetales Saga, and this. This is my favorite saga. Brr, is it cold here or what? How could you, how could any, anywhere be so, so stinking cold? I know Kamui's the northernmost part of Nippon, but come on! I don't remember it ever snowing this hard before. Listen, Nami. I'm going to hunker down in this fur co coat of yours. You try to find some shelter in this nasty blizzard. And... Oh, wow. Okay, Isun actually did hunker down. Normally he's bouncing on her nose, but no. That's actually really cool. I was expecting he was just going to say, I'm going to hunker down in this fur coat, but nothing happened. But, wow, he actually he actually did. Okay, that's cool. That's a cool touch. Okay, uh, if you're wondering where the save mirror is, it's right here in this little alcove. So the save mirror itself is sheltered. But yeah, um, I'm a huge fan of snow areas in video games. Huge fan. Like, words don't describe how much of a fan of snow areas I am. If a game doesn't have one of these, I don't view the game as, as high. That's one reason why Skyward Sword is not my favorite game of all time. It doesn't have a snow area. And I felt like they could really run far with the snow. But, but they didn't, and that's why it's not my all-time favorite. So as it turns to daytime here, you'll see that there isn't much different difference in the weather. There's a, there's a blizzard going on right now, so let's do what Isun said and find some shelter. There's a house over here. Seems a likely candidate. Except 
we're going to be waylaid on the road by a new enemy. This is the Namahaje and the Blade Namahaje. They are clones of imps. Uh, best suggestion is to equip a reflector as a sub weapon. So I'll just be swapping my new two newest weapons. Uh, other things, I think I should equip this just for fun. And I'm going to go ahead and farm some of these guys. I obtained glass beads. Yeah, so this is really good. Actually, did that use no ink? Did that seriously use no ink? I didn't know that. Oh, it does. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, okay, so yeah, there. the strategy is exactly the same as normal imps. Just attack. You can farm if necessary with... Uh, with the Thieves' Glove and Golden Fury, but otherwise, uh, he died, okay, otherwise, Gale Storm is all of the, the, uh, the enemy's floral finishers. Um, when they're down, go ahead and power slash them to take away their weapons, and there you go, it's actually very easy. Uh, the best way to kill them, however, is to splot, no, not, not Gale Storm. You get, okay, you, did you guys catch what he just did? Because I'm not going to explain it. Okay, uh, the best thing to do is execute a sub-reflector counterattack, and that killed him in almost one hit. So that's that's very worth your while to do. Hit me. There we go. Especially with this weapon. This is a tier. F yeah, it it does it does so much of his health, uh, and a couple hits will do him in. Uh, one more. There, and he's gone. And this one. Hello, sir. You are. No, 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 no. Done. And I didn't take any damage, and I did very well. They're pretty easy. Sub-reflector counterattacks do them in real quick, especially with that many on screen at one time. You could just actually just spam refle the reflector. Um, so yeah, there we go. Come on, Ajay. Easy. Okay, so, yeah, I was talking about how this is how snow areas are my favorite area of the game. They can do so much. They can go the route of, I don't know, uh, I won't spoil it for you guys, but uh, I'll, I'll you, you see it actually pretty early on the first time in the game, so I, it's not that much of a spoiler. Uh, Xenoblade Chronicles has a fantastic snow area. They ran with it in making it super luminescent and just really, really pretty. Uh, Twilight Princess went the opposite route. They made it really realistic and it actually felt a lot like a snow area. There was a blizzard, you could barely see the, the paw in front of your face since that game shares this, this title's wolf mechanic. Um, and then there's this game, which is sort of a mix of the two. It is realistic, but it has that art style, plus the lightning over there, that make it really, really atmospheric. It, it sets itself apart from any snow area I've ever seen. And the characters, the characters we will meet are a great example of this. But instead of just rambling on, I think we should go in here and seek shelter since Isun is nowhere to be seen and he's probably freezing death in Ami's fur coat. So let's go inside the, this hut. Brrr. Look, fire, fire. Guess we're not going to be freeze to death after all. What's your problem, Mommy? I'm allowed to relax in front of the fire, ain't I? Yikes! You? You see that, Ami? I'm not talking about that silly mask. I mean his sword. That puppy's a bona fide masterpiece. Hmm. I just mentioned characters. And that guy certainly fits the bill. Is he an enemy? Friend? Foe? Let's find out.
Looks like he means business. The Masked Swordsman. Okay, I'm not going to be stating any more information about this character because it contains spoilers, but I will be s spreading information about how to beat him. Okay, uh, he's sort of similar to Waka. He will he will spawn ice daggers, which if they touch you will freeze you, which you do not want to let that happen. If you reflect them back with Power Slash, you will lay stunned for a couple of moments. Uh, you want to, I've heard that it's best to use glaives when attacking him, I have no idea why, but I will be following that advice. Okay, getting the camera situated so you can hit every single dagger in one go is very advantageous. Also, when he is stunned, slowing down time. That's something that will allow you to close the gap and get some good hits on him. Which, I got a bunch of them. And I'm at very high godhood, which is good. Okay, um... This is not something where you can just line them up and use Power Slash on them. You have to get the camera at an angle from above. Alternatively, I would suggest that you Power Slash all of them but one. And then, as you're running towards him, you Power Slash the last one, which will stun him again. That would be very useful, and it helps you get in more hits. Uh, if you get frozen by his attacks, you can use the fire nearby if you don't have Fire Burst to... Uh, to unfreeze yourself. Oh, I got hit by one of his daggers there. Uh, and that would be very useful. It would be best to use the fire nearby because it doesn't use up as much ink. Um, his attacks are very easy to see coming, so just be ready to dodge them. You don't even really need Veil of Mist, except for when you're closing the gap when he's stunned. Okay, let's get the camera like so. They're not actually daggers now that I look at them. They're more like icicles, so I'll be using that name for them. Okay. Uh, I got more Godhood here. Oh, I got hit there. Now, it would probably be advantageous for me not to have a have the Blade of Kusanagi as my sub, but, or, uh, that's not my sub, uh, have the, the Trinity Mirror as my sub. I'll have the Exorcism Beads as my sub, because then I can machine gun from a distance, like so, while I'm dealing with the daggers. Nope, 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 that's... That's bad, that's bad. That's the opposite of good. So, I I lost my godhood there, but that's fine. Uh, let's see. He is dead, wow, okay. But that is not over. This is a... That, this is not over. He has a second form, the form of a giant wolf. Almost looks like a wolf crossed with a bear. You can see, by doing so, he takes off the mask to become a wolf. So his human form is not his true form. Uh, his attacks are, wow, much harder to avoid, and it's not as cut and dry as power slashing the daggers in and capitalizing. You want to stay on the offensive and then dodge when his, you see his attacks coming. They are very slow, but very powerful. So you should be able to see him coming a long ways away and dodge. You want to be mostly up close and personal. Ow. Uh, and punish him when he makes mistakes. He'll also punish you if you make them. Uh, charging your glaive a lot would be very good. You can see he's a lot like the canine warriors like this, except he carries a lot more punch and has a lot more area of effect abilities. If we're... Nope. Uh, let's see. Uh, this, I believe, Fire Burst beats. Yes, it does. It completely shielded that attack. It's very That attack is very hard to guard against, so I suggest you use Fire Burst. Okay, we're dealing some damage to him, not as much as I'd hope. Okay, this attack, I was waiting for this. You'll summon two doppelgangers that will still attack you just as normal. If you attack them or if they touch you, then you will be frozen. Also, if they attack you, you will also be frozen by any of their attacks. So avoid them and attack the real uh, masked warrior. I guess we can call him Masked Wolf. Even though he's not wearing a mask right now, he has it off. Uh, I, I believe... Can you get rid of them with... No, you cannot. Are you sure? Am I sure? No, you can get rid of them. Okay, you can get rid of his doppelgangers with fire, so do that quite consistently. Okay, that is, while he's doing that attack, I'll kill the last doppelganger with fire. Or does it not do that? No, it stuns it. Can we attack it? Uh, fire. Okay, fire stuns it, 
and you can hit it to burst it into pieces. So attacking it will not freeze you. I had that wrong. Okay. Now mostly this enemy will be running around. Not as not as bad as that canine warrior uh, because he actually has attacks that aren't cheap as all get out. If he gets the better of me, I might want to get some godhood, maybe. Uh, I'm actually doing pretty well. Oh, whoa! Okay, Power Slash 2. Uh, that is, that is highly suggested. Use Power Slash 2 on him. It does a lot of damage. Okay, let's slow down time here because I believe we can finish him off, uh, if the doppelgangers don't get in our way. Yes, we can! Not bad, white one. I am Oki, warrior of the Oina tribe. Oina warrior, Oki. You are obviously not of our tribe. And I can see that you are no mere wolf either. What name do you go by? This here is Amaterasu, the great savior of Nippon. But... Enough about that. Why do you have to go attack and attack us? And what are you doing with that sword in the first place? Oh, I see you have a Ponkel with you. Wait, is that Isun? I haven't seen you around in ages. Must be nice to be able to roam Nippon on the back of a wolf. I heard you got tired of painting and ran from this land in disgust about a year ago. So why did you come back? Did you have second thoughts? Why you? I don't know who you two think you are, but you're nothing like the legendary Shiranui and the pint-sized warrior. Bah! Put a cork in it, will ya? Why don't you start by telling, uh, telling us why you have that sword? This sword? I have this sword because the time to wield it has come. What? As you well know, Kamui is a harsh land covered in snow and ice. And the monsters that infest the region only make our life worse. Yet we, the Oina tribe, have managed to survive this to this day. It is because the sacred Ezofuji Mountains have watched over us. However, our mothers and protectors, our most sacred of mountains, have been taken over by those demons. Yes, I speak of the twin demons, Lechku and Nechku. They have been imprisoned at the twin summits of Ezufuji, but they suddenly broke free one day and began their deadly assault upon the land of Kamui. The snowstorms grew more intense, transforming Kamui into a frozen wasteland. Those demons are back? Many of our tribe have been killed by their relentless attacks. It was as if they roamed our land in search of something. But they mercifully slaughtered, mercil mercilessly slaughtered all the Oina they came across. The good earth is losing its power and its soul. Without the, these gifts of the gods, Kamui will become un uninhabitable. I must slay those wretched demons now, before it is too late. What about the villagers? They should be battling the cold that blasts down from Ezufuji. After all, our village lies at their base. It is only a matter of time before Kamui becomes an icy tomb. An icy tomb? Then, what are you doing out here with that guardian sword? Why did you bring it out of the village? Did I not say the time to use the sword has come? You've heard of the prophecy of salvation, have you not? The wall of ice shall shatter and open the way to the heavens, when, the, when Kutone, the guardian sword, glows silver. It means that when this sword glows silver, rid it, ridding the village of this abominable blizzard will be child's play. 
The sword's gonna start glowing? Yes, but Kutune will not wake until it has tasted more monster blood. St so I will continue slaying the foul beasts wherever they may be. Until Kutune lights our way to victory. Yule? We took a tiny bit of damage, so I'm guessing they just expected us to take no damage, but that still gave us 34,000 yen. And, you guys, you guys know, this is my favorite area, but the favorite area also houses my favorite character. His theme is amazing. His look, so epic. He has like the, he has the spiky hair going on. He actually has a tan, even though he's in basically Canada. And he has this awesome mask. Let's see if I can get a good view of that mask. Look at that mask. It's so cool. And he's part of a race which are like him, the Owina. Shape-shifting wolves. How epic is that? It appears the blizzard has lightened a bit. I know not when the demons will launch another terrible blizzard, but now would be your best chance to flee to the village. Wait a sec, Oki. I can't believe this chief sent let you take that sword. I mean, he tanned he tanned my hide just for once. Ugh. I mean, he tanned my hide once just for touching the thing. I already told you the time to wield it has come. When it glow and when it glows silver, he says the prophecy. It means when it glow when this sword glows silver, ridding the village of the abominable blizzard will be child's play. But Kutune will says the same thing. Okay. Okay, he says the same exact thing. But man, he's so cool. Let's let's hit him. Yeah. He's like Wa he's like Waka, except he's not as he's not nearly as ridiculous looking as Waka. He's more awesome than Waka, but he can move that fast. He's just that cool. And if you guys wanted to take a look at his wolf form, if you circle Sorry, not circle with fire, if you just circle him, he will turn into a wolf. And you can see how massive this wolf is. Seriously! Amaterasu is a big wolf. She would probably go up, I don't know, maybe to my waist or like thigh or something, and I'm almost six foot. But this guy, he would definitely go over my waist. He would, uh, at his head, he'd probably go up to like my chest. That is amazing. Look how big this guy is. In fact, scale. Okay, here's scale. You see, I'm going to line it up. So his, his spiky hair goes just about at that, at that... Uh, fiery thing. Then I'm going to circle him. No. Then I'm going to circle him. No. Circle. There. Okay. So, wow. His, the, his, his shoulders go up to his neck when he's in hu human form. That is a gigantic wolf. And he is in the snow right now. He's like, he's ankle or shin deep in the snow. He's awesome. He is epic. Let's turn him into a wolf again because he looks awesome. My favorite character, all time, but, and he also phases in and out of reality with that too. And when you talk to him, he speaks differently. He sounds like a, a, a wolf, which is awesome. Okay, I, I should stop gushing about this guy. He is my favorite character in the game, but I should, I should really, I should really stop. Um, that's going to be it for this episode. You can tell this is my favorite part of the game. Like. I, I wouldn't even have to tell you guys that. Just me talking about Oki and talking about this area. It's just so, it's, it, I, I love it. I love it. But I'll probably not gush as much next episode. No guarantees. Uh, but yeah, next episode, we're going to be exploring the new area of Kamui. And you can see the, the name of, the, of one of the areas over there. But I will not read it. Because if you guys didn't want spoilers, I'm not going to give them to you. I'll see you guys next time. Oh, I should probably give the actual outro instead of just cutting it off. I release new episodes of Okami Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Uh, Saturdays are long episodes, and if you like this episode, then comment. If you didn't like this episode, then comment and tell me how I could make next episode so that you would like it. Next time in Okami, this is the proper outro, guys. Next time in Okami, we'll be heading that way, towards a curse zone, which gives you some indication of what next episode will be like. Matarasu is just going to sleep next to Waka in the meantime because that that is romance look at that
this is the cutest couple. So cute. 